What's up Peak Timers, today we're going to unbox and get a close up look at this brand new Hot Wheels 50 pack which is a Toys R Us exclusive. Yes that's right, up here in Canada we still have Toys R Us open so we get a lot of cool Hot Wheels boxes that are exclusive to Toys R Us, including this one and as you can see with some of the cars that are included, we got some great new 2020 release cars. Let's go ahead and unbox it and see all the cool ones in inside here. Let's start it off right up top right here and get a close up look at some of the cool cards that are included. And as you can see, these are shorty cards. So let's go ahead and have a look at our first one right here. It's the 64 Nova Wagon Gasser. And these Gasser cars are really cool with those raised front ends. And these are made to drag race back in about the 60s or so, but a pretty cool looking Gasser. Next up, we do have the Velocita. And this one is the 2020 swimming from the 2020 Olympics. Unfortunately, the Olympics didn't happen, but they still come out with these cars. And as you can see, Olympic Games Tokyo 2020 right there on the sides. All right, let's see what our next one is. We've got another Tokyo car. It is Sky Dome, and this one is from, what does it say, basketball? This is our basketball Sky Dome car right there, as you can see, and it's not too bad. It's kind of an interesting fantasy car. Not really my taste personally, but we'll put it aside for now. What else do we have up here? We've got Skate Grom, and this to be looks to be like another Olympics one. Yes, it is. Okay, so we got three Olympics ones in a row, which is pretty neat. So Skate Grom, and we've got the uh, little dude on there on the skateboard, and these are really cool for camera cars. If you guys watch some of my older videos, you'll see I use the skateboard as a camera card. We got High Beam, another Olympic car. What are these? All these Olympic cars just all in a row. High Beam right there. Interesting colorway on this one, and this one is from uh, Acoustic Gymnastics or Arabic Gymnastics. I can't remember exactly. I can't read it exactly. It's really, really small right on there, but there we go. We've got High Beam, and next up we've got Honda S2000 from the Honda series, all in yellow. Really, really like this casting in yellow. Got the nice big spoiler on there, the white wheels on there as well, and some of the black trim on the side. And it does look like a Moon Eyes car, but it is not from the Moon Eyes series. But there we go, Honda S2000. Next up, we have the 2019 Chevy Silverado Trail Boss LT, this one in white. We saw this one in several different colors before, but I really like the white one. The white one looks really cool. It's from the Hot Wheels Hot Truck Series, number five of 10 for this short card right there. All right, next up we've got, ooh, we've got the 91 GMC Cyclone in the short card. I really like this one. The original one that I got actually had an air on the wheel, so it's interesting that I got another one here, so I can't wait to open this one up. I really love the GMC Cyclone from the Hot Wheels Hot Trucks series. All right, next up after that, we've got, ooh, it's the Porsche 911 GT3 RS, and this is the Tanner Fox edition one. So it's got the little Tanner Fox logoing right there on there, his signature from the Hot Wheels exotic series. And it's like a matte black finish, a nice tampa work and stuff all on the sides of it. All right, what's our other one just right up here? We've got, ooh, a Datsun Bluebird Wagon 510 Momo Edition. It's kind of stuck in this little card right there. Can we get it out? There we go, there we go. Now we can move it back and forth, but there it is. The Momo Edition red with the yellow and black trim on there. I love these wheels too, these blacked out wheels with the yellow lip on them. Very, very nice. Hot Wheels Speed Graphics Series for that one right there. All right, we got a little piece of cardboard here. Let's go ahead and take that out. And let's see what we have All right up top right here. We've got the 2018 Mustang GT Borla Edition. Very cool from the Hot Wheels Speed Graphics Series. Lots of cool graphics on there. The red striping down the center as well, the double red stripe. But a really, really cool, like the 2018 Mustang GT. It's a really nice model. We got Pixel Shaker, a brand new casting for 2020. And obviously this is made after the Bone Shaker. It's the pixelated edition of it. It's kind of like Minecraft if you're into that. Hot Wheels Ride On series, lots of chrome on that one as well for the engine bay, cool looking wheels, but very pixelated casting of course. And 
Next up, we got the Party Wagon. Oh, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Party Wagon in yellow. I was really looking forward to this casting. It's a really neat looking casting. And it's obviously from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie and a TV show. Hot Wheels screen time, it does say. Number three of 10 Nickelodeon sponsored, which is the series that it was from. Next up, we've got, ooh, a 2019 uh, Chevrolet Corvette ZR1 convertible. I'm really liking this one. One of the new castings for 2020 from the Factory Fresh series, red convertible. I'd like to see it in a different color, maybe a yellow one. Of course, you guys know how much I love my yellow cars. All right, next up we have the custom auto right here. And this one is, it kind of looks like a like a 70s muscle car of some sorts from the Muscle Mania series. I'm not sure the history behind this one. I think it's from uh, some sort of TV show or something. I can't remember exactly. Got custom auto, it's got the nice gold rims on there. It's a nice looking car though. All right, next up we've got a bone shaker. Check out this bone shaker. Lots of different colored bone shakers are always being released and this one nonetheless, it kind of looks like a matte finish paint job, but it's kind of like a darker red color. Blacked out wheels, gold lip on there, and the nice big chrome engine on this one. It's from the Hot Wheels Dream Garage Series number seven of 10. We'll put that aside. Then next up, we've got the 2020 Jeep Gladiator in red. And this one is the little motorbikes on the back right there. You can see there's two motorbikes on the back of this one right there. And it's from the Baja Blazer Series. This is also a brand new casting for 2020. Looking forward to seeing more colors of that one as well. The 68 Shelby GT500. This one's blue with lots of flames on it. You can see those flames coming down the side. Gold wheels as well on there from the Hot Wheels Flame Series. Number five of 10. I'm liking the Mustangs with the flames on there. Looks like we've got another flamed out car. It's the 57 Plymouth Fury, and this is a big, long car. Lots of flames down the center of it, and you can see right down the middle as well. It's got the flames, Hot Wheels Flame Series, car number two of 10 with the 57 on the side to match the year that that car is made after. We've got a Jaguar up next. It is the Jaguar XJ220, a very fast car down the PTR track. You guys know that. We've seen the Jaguar XJ220 do fantastic. This one's really Really cool it's kind of like a lighter metallic green it's got the nice livery of the jaguar just on the back number 17 on there from the hot wheels exotic series number eight of ten put that one aside and looks like we're gonna have to dig down now to get to some more cars here we'll move some more of that cardboard and let's grab some cars just right out from the top right inside of here there we go. We struggled to get a few of them out. We've got the 1970 Dodge Power Wagon. I really, really like this. And you guys, if you guys watch my top five Hot Wheels of all time, I actually put this car in there. And not just because I, I like the Power Wagon, the trucks in real life. I actually don't didn't really like them at all, but this casting is just fantastic. A really, really nice one. The only difference that they made with this mainline one was they did a plastic base on it, whereas the original ones that were the premium variations had the metal base, so they're a lot heavier. But nonetheless, this one still looks really, really good from the Hot Wheels Hot Trucks series. All right, let's grab another one out from the top right here. Oh, we've got eight crate, and this is like a 1950s station wagon. And I think it's got, yeah, it's got the big engine in the back right there. So you can see it kind of just right through right there, nice and chromey and all that, and really cool looking graphics on there. The white, and these wheels are very, very unique. Black wheels in the center, but then white walls on them. And we don't see that one very often, but that's a neat little touch for this little car from the Rod Squad series. All right, what else do we have here? We've got the 68 Dodge Dart Mopar written on the side. I really like this blue color on here. Nice black down the center striping as you can see right there and cool looking custom wheels on this one. It's kind of a retro rod style car, but really, really neat. And look at the hood scoop on the picture. Right there. Look how big that hood scoop is. And it's not quite as big on the casting. Maybe it could be a little bit higher, but still really cool collectible one. I'd like to get my hands on more of those ones. All right, what do we have here? We got another bone shaker and there it is from the Hot Wheels art car series. And this one came as a Hot Wheels ID chase car 
in uh, one of the cases. So if you found that one, then you've got this one to match. This one obviously a lot easier to find, but a really, really unique color for that. Check out those wheels. Check out those colored wheels. Just crazy colored wheels on this one right here. But nonetheless, I gotta like the bone shakers. I gotta collect lots of them. So if you guys like those bone shakers, that's definitely one to collect. Let's pull that little piece out right there. Next up, we've got a motorbike. It's the BMW K1300R from the Factory Fresh series. And we do see quite often, quite a few motorbikes come out. Maybe not as many this year as in previous years. Previous years, we saw lots of the Ducatis. I really like the Ducatis. Uh, the BMW K1300R, meh, nothing too special for me. Not really one that I care about too much. Let's put that on that side right there. Croc Rod, a very interesting fantasy casting we've got from the Street Beast series and check it out got the nice crocodile just right down the center right there and if we look we can kind of see it better if we look at the art on there you can see he's kind of smiling it looks like a pretty happy crocodile if you ask me and does it yeah it interprets pretty well right onto the casting area I guess it's just eyes his eyes just make him look kind of happy it's an interesting color I mean it's a it's a different fantasy casting not really my flavor all right next up we've got the Hot Wheels Formula Solar and this is an interesting color it's kind of like a see-through red color as you can see and it's got the see-through blue wheels on there kind of a weird fin on there obviously formula solar it's supposedly a solar powered race car but it is a fantasy car x racers series cars number six of ten meh again nothing really too great in my opinion that i really like uh, Cloak and Dagger is a very interesting casting. I do like this one for a fantasy casting. And if you guys open this one up, you can actually remove the body off the Cloak and Dagger. So a very, very interesting one. Check out the, the paintwork. It's kind of got like these weird teeth and stuff right on the side right there. And you can see how this will all just come apart. This top piece will come apart. But it's an interesting casting from the X Racers series. We'll put that aside. And we got another piece of cardboard to pull out. We'll pull that piece out there. We'll throw it over there. And what we have up top here. here We've got the Robo Race Robo Car. Speaking of electric powered and solar powered and all of that, this one is a uh, made after a real life electric race car with no person inside. So a very, very interesting casting that they made it into a Hot Wheels variation. It's from the Speed, Speed Blur series. Sorry about that, but it's a silver color. We originally saw this one, I believe in white and we've gotten several other different color variations for that one as well. Next up, we've got Beat All, a very, very big fantasy casting. This is like just a giant, giant car, but it's it's just, there's so much going on with this car. You can see right in the front right there, he's chrome inside of it. He's got some sort of like thing that he's gonna like bite you with. It's a big, giant vehicle altogether, big raised up suspension, giant tires on there. It's, it's interesting to say the least for Beat All. All right, let's see what else we have here. Ma we've got Manga Tuner. Oh, Manga Tuner, such such an interesting car. I mean, they do have these really weird tuner cars in Japan with these rig big exhausts on the back. So I feel like Manga Tuner is kind of like an imitation of that. I would say it is a fantasy car because it's kind of like a tuned out version. I guess it is tuned out because it's from the Tune series. So there you go, you have it there. But um, there's not really a specific car in real life that it's made after. So I'd still, I'd still say this is a fantasy casting. Nonetheless, it's a really neat looking, interesting car from the series there. We got the Jaguar. XESV Project 8 and uh, I believe I called this one black on a lot of my previous videos or several of my previous videos and then you guys called me out for it and you guys said no it's not black it's actually dark green and you know what you guys are right if we look at the picture it definitely looks dark green but if we look at the car that looks very black but then when you put it on certain light yeah okay it is dark green you guys are right uh it's got the carbon fiber roof imitation on there and it does definitely have the blacked out wheels on there but it's a really really cool car i really like it like to see more colors of that one there what else do we have? We have Rockin' Santa Sled, and this is just a crazy fantasy car. Definitely uh, like a fast uh, sled, and you can see even Santa in here. He's got some like goggles on there. It looks like he's just all ready to go fast. I don't know, it's just it's just a really weird casting to come out with. Experimotors, I guess they are experimenting with the, the new and different looking castings that they come out with. You can see the front wheels though, they're hidden. So they're kind of built into the bottom base of the car and then the rear ones are fully exposed. It, it's kind of cool, I don't know, maybe not, not really my flavor. All right, next up we got Total Disposal and I really like this fantasy casting, super, super cool. I just like the, 
it's kind of like a, a tuned out look to it. It's kind of like a squished uh, recycling truck that you have there. And it's green right all on there. And then check out close the front and rear wheels and tires are on there. <laughs> Just a really, really cool casting. I really like this one from the Hot Wheels Metro series. We've seen a few different color releases of that one for 2020 already as well. Next up, we got the 2018 Honda Civic Type R in white from the Honda series, there it is. And if you guys know me, I'm not a really big Honda fan. I just think like, uh, especially Civics, like the new ones, I just think there's just too much going on. If we look at the back, there's just too many spoilers and too many angles and stuff like that. It's not really a clean look to it, but I mean, the Honda logo and the coloring and stuff does look pretty cool in this car, so I'll give it that. But again, I'm not a big Honda fan, so really not my flavor right there on that one either. All right, we got some Lambos, exotics. That's what I'm talking about, guys. A Lamborghini Sesto Elemento, definitely a cool recolor for this year in this light blue color. It's kind of got some like orange highlighting on the front and then these wheels. These wheels are just perfect for the Lamborghini Sesto Elemento. And if we see on the back, you can see it kind of imitates that ridge that it has on that rear deck trunk there on the back of the Lamborghini Sesto Elemento. A really cool casting, really cool to see it in a new color from the Hot Wheels Exotic Series. We'll put that one aside. And next up, we've got the 1990 Acura NSX. This one in red, also from the Hot Wheels Exotic Series. There it is. It's got some big R on the front of it. I don't think it's a Type R. It's made after something. I can't remember. You guys said in the comments one time before what the specific R, what this one's supposed to be after. But nonetheless, I really like the NSX really really cool car it's definitely a Japan classic it's gonna be valuable one day in real life if you've got one of those ones all right another Acura we've got the custom 01 2001 Acura Integra GSR this one also red I really like these wheels actually on this car they kind of make it look like like more of like a, a street tuner car I don't know why these wheels they just suit it pretty good and this one's got some cool graphics and all that look at the, it looks like it's got polka dots on the top right there very very interesting but Acura Integra GSR not bad not not bad I like that one I like that one I'll give that one a, a good one there all right it looks like we've got the cars that were just on the front is that all that we have left in here let's go ahead and grab this piece out all right, and I guess we'll just look at it just like this. I'm not gonna pull them out completely. We'll start it up on the top right here. We've got the uh, Volvo 850 Estate just sitting right there. This one's, uh, well, it's kind of like a silver and blue mixture with some chrome wheels. Not too bad, interesting car. I like it. Then we've got Nerve Hammer Fantasy Car. I'm not really sure what this one's supposed to be, or what it's supposed to be made after, but it kind of looks like a, like a new age sports car, almost like 350Z kind of like, but I like the wheels on it pretty cool uh we've got the uh, audi sport quattro in red with the white wheels i really really like this casting such a cool looking casting there it is right there sitting there in that pure red we saw it in white and the white one had kind of too many graphics and stuff all over it it's nice to see a nice pure a clean looking color in that red. We'll move over here to the BMW Z4, and this is a, a race car. I'm not sure if I can see the specifics on it. Uh, BMW Z4 M Motorsports is what it says on there for this one right there. White, it's got the BMW livery on the side of it. Big giant spoiler on the back of it there. Pretty cool looking. Next up, we've got the 68 Chevy Nova right there. 68 Chevy Nova. We've seen this one definitely in a lot of different colors, but it's nice to see um, in a little bit like kind of like a brighter camo. We've seen it a lot of the darker colors and stuff like that, but it's nice to see it in there. And this this kind of like shark teeth thing, it's becoming like a thing with a lot of newer cars. I don't really understand it myself, but it does look pretty cool. I'll give it that. All right, next up, one of the longest named cars ever in Hot Wheels. And there you can read it. Porsche Panamera Turbo SE Hybrid Sport Turismo. Just such a long name, but you know what? It's a really, really cool car. I'm glad they came out with it. We saw this one in like kind of a flat gray color originally. Then we got a white color of it. Now we've got this one of it. And this one's got the, the nice colored wheels to match with it. Really, really cool looking car. All right, McLaren fans, you guys know how much I love McLarens. And there we go. We got this one. It's kind of like a, like a greenish light teal color. It's a very, very interesting color. It's got a lot of pearl to it. If we look at it from the top, it's just, it kind of sparkles in my lights. It's a really, really cool looking one. I love the McLaren P1. I have, there's so many different recolors of McLaren P1 now, but I really can't get enough of them. I'd love to see more McLaren P1 recolors. Erkenstein rods are next one up right there with the number 52, a very, very cool new casting for 2020. I'm super happy with it. It's kind of like a hot roddy truck 
big engine on there. Just looks really mean and aggressive, but I super, super like it. And after that, we've got the Honda Prelude. I think it's a 98 Honda Prelude, if I'm not, I'm not mistaken. I think you guys can comment down below. It's a 1998 Honda Prelude, is that what it is? I think that's what it is, but uh, there we go. We got it in that color right there. I believe that's the first release color of it. We are getting some recolors of this one, so stay tuned, guys, for future Hot Wheels updates on that one. And I can't remember what this one is called. What is this one called here? I'm gonna have to look. Twin Mill Gen E, how did, how did I not know that? Of course I know that's a Twin Mill Gen E. Okay, there we go, Twin Mill Gen E, that's my mistake, I should totally have known that. But there it is, Twin Mill Gen E, in that kind of like a, a matte red finish to it, but very cool looking car, I like the Twin Mill Gen E's actually. And 2016 Lamborghini Centenario Roadster, right there, nice white looking color on there with the red base. You guys saw my previous video, we did get a new red recolor of this one. And it, it, I was just gonna say it almost looked like that these the back wheel had an air on it. It looked like it was tucked in a little bit farther than it should be, but no, I think it's okay. We won't open that one up for now. We'll leave it for a future video. Linster Prototype is our last vehicle right there, and there it is, our Linster Prototype, and it's supposed to be some sort of like like fast off-roady prototype car. I'm not sure exactly, but nonetheless, kind of interesting. All right, guys, let me know in the comments section down below which was your favorite car that we showed for you today on our Toys R Us 50 pack. Lots of good cars, all 2021 release cars in this one. Thank you so much for watching the video. Make sure you hit that thumbs up guys and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye bye.